What's going on guys, C Blake here and following a series I got started last year, I'm continuing with things you should know before you buy. Today we're gonna to be looking at the Air Max 270. We have the brand new colorway in hand. So a little bit of background on the shoe. Every year Nike does a new iteration of Air Max unit sneakers. So last year we saw the Vapor Max. I did a video on that if you wanna check it out. And this year, rather than going the route of performance running, because in all honesty, the Air Max 2017, 16, 15, They've been okay sneakers, but they end up super discounted. They don't get a lot of hype. They don't get a lot of energy. Nike's kind of flipped the script and said, we're gonna move away from performance running and into a strictly lifestyle sneaker. So here are some things that you should know before you buy these. First up, before we get into specific details, just an overview. Price is gonna be $150. Now, should you pay full retail? I would say no, unless it's a quick strike or hyper strike colorway and you will be aware of what these are based on the release and what retailers get them. I see these going under retail. In fact, Shoe Palace had a code for them, $15 off on the same day as release and they didn't sell out. So if that goes to show anything, people are waiting and I think you might be best off waiting on this model if you're looking to try it out. The second thing that's most important to most people is sizing. This sneaker tends to run a little bit narrow. That's because of the fuse material that's around the toe box here. So if you have a wider foot, you don't like your sneakers fitting super snug because your foot does swell throughout the day you're gonna to want to half size up. If you're used to having sneakers run a little bit more narrow, you want them a little bit tighter, true to size will be fine. But if you're like me and you want a sneaker that's truly comfortable all day, half size up on these. All right, taking a closer look at the sneaker, you'll notice that the design inspiration might be similar and no, it's not an Air Max Taya with an Air unit slapped on it. Although that is what I first thought of. The Air Max 93 and the Air Max 180 were both used to inspire this. As part of the launch, Nike actually retroed both these models. You can see myself in it pointing this out. But this air unit is 35 millimeters thick. That is the largest air unit Nike has ever done. And you'll notice that it molds seamlessly into the heel cup. That was one of the designer's favorite aspects of it. You're gonna see the mesh on the upper and that neoprene booty, which is gonna add for a little bit more secure lockdown fit. And then of course you see the rubber reinforced. That's gonna be for more durability. But like I said, that's where the sneaker really comes to a point and gets a little bit narrow. Overall, I gotta say the sneaker's not bad looking in hand and there's some really phenomenal colorways this is personally my favorite one that's released so far so there you have it you've seen the sneaker you've got a little bit of information about the pricing whether or not to wait for them to go on sale the sizing any other questions i'd be happy to answer down below in the description there's also links on where to purchase these and you can always follow kicks under cost on twitter or check out the website as i will be posting deals for when these do go under retail